I'm Judy Robinette. I'm heavily involved with the startup community, helping entrepreneurs get funded. I teach for the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Business Program. I sit on the board of Perig VC in New York and also Illuminate VC in Menlo Park. There's $47 trillion circling the globe. Studies have just shown that there's over 300,000 angel investors. People like me want to help you, want to invest. Most angels who fund startups are in California and the rest are on the East Coast. I grew up in Franklin, Idaho, population 300, home of Napoleon Dynamite. My background for this has nothing to do with the financial world. One day I was giving a speech at MIT and I picked up a, a newspaper, the Wall Street Journal, and it said there were five ways for you to become financially successful, independent in America. Number one was be a doctor. Number two, be a lawyer. Number three, inherit it. Number four, marry it. And I thought, those four are out. And the fifth one was start a business. And so I thought, how hard could that be? So I went back to Idaho and applied for an SBA loan of $1.3 million and started a franchise restaurant thinking that would be easy. Uh, almost went bankrupt, finally turned it around, and then people started bringing their companies to me asking not only how to help them uh, get funding but how to be more successful. And I absolutely loved the challenge and in particular figuring out how to raise millions of dollars. I worked with Rick Alden, the founder of Skull Candy, when he was at year three at a quarter of a million of cells and needed to find uh, financing and worked with an angel to vet his company. So that's how I got started. The reason that people are interested in investing in startups is because there's a much higher rate of return, over 22% return. So this is why people are interested in you. They're looking for a good deal that's fundable. So if you're looking for funding, the most important thing for you to understand is the entire funding ecosystem. Friends and family is the largest amount of money that's available to you as a, a funder. This can go as high as they estimate 80 to 100 billion dollars. Whereas angels are at 22 and a half billion with the latest research that came out last week. VCs, which usually people think of first, only fund 3% of startups, but also now we're seeing family offices invest, and this is groups who have made a tremendous amount of money, and they've hired their own financial staff to help manage that money, and they want to have a piece of this asset class of early startups. It's absolutely critical that you realize that angels, VC, family offices want a deal that's fundable. And one of the most important things to do is to avoid what is called hair on the deal. And hair on the deal is not having your legal documents, it's not having your, your IP secured, it's not potentially having a board of directors, but most critical is not having introductions to these funding groups, and that requires relationship capital. And one of the ways that you can do that is to find where the angels flock. This will be the likely source of you getting funded. You can go to the Angel Capital Association. You can find all of the angel groups that are across the United States. Many of them, like Golden Seeds, have offices from New York to San Francisco. One of the most important things for you to understand is when you accept funding from different categories of people, their expectations are different. And often when you take money from a venture capitalist, your exit's 10 years out. And there's a great book on this called Early Exits by Basil Peters, but you need to be clear from the beginning of your company through the exit, what kind of an exit you're looking at, how much time you're going to spend. Angels typically want to get their money back in three to five years. VCs, it usually will take you at least 10 years because they want a much higher multiple on their return. One of the most innovative things that has happened recently to finding funding is crowdfunding, which President Obama signed into law. This along with the fact that there's now a thousand incubators, accelerators in the United States, and we have programs on TV like Shark Tank, have made getting funding much easier. Crowdfunding will combine platforms and allow you to use the social media. And this is going to be the power of crowdfunding. It's going to allow you to contact strangers through your network, who are interested in your deals. We've already had major success with Kickstarter, with Rocket Hub, with crowdfunding, with 1,000 incubators across the country. You can find the money. The money is out there. 
So make sure, number one, that you get in the right room with the right funder. Number two, make sure that your pitch is concise and compelling. It depends on you being smart in understanding the ecosystem and also asking. You have to ask people for help. The two golden questions that I tell people is what other ideas do you have for me? Number two, who else do you know that I should speak with? There's hundreds upon thousands of people who are looking for wonderful deals, so go get them.